What's your name, mate? Nathan. Where are you from, Nathan? I'm from Newcastle. What are you doing in the Soho, mate? I, I went away from Newcastle because there's a lot of corruptancy in the police force. And the police force around there, they just turn a blind eye to anything that they get paid to. You don't think they're like that up here? I don't know if it's like that down there as much, but I definitely know for fine fact the entire police force is into it, so it's a lot, lot better and a lot safer for me down here than it is up in Newcastle. Fair enough, man. So how long you been down here for? About two weeks. How are you finding it? Uh, it's alright. I mean, it's kind of hard though. There's a lot of homeless in, in London like, oh, and uh, I don't know, if you don't have a sign, or well, say I've got this top, I've got this top from Connection, so everyone just probably looks at it and goes, oh, he's got an addiction. But I got it from somewhere which is meant to help the homeless, but it was like the cleanest top I've got. So how long have you been on the uh, streets for now? On and off since I was 15. Uh, what, ha what happened? Like, obviously you were 15, like, what's the story there? My mum just kicked me out. She's never really been a nice mum to me, like, ne like, never ever been a nice mum. Kicked me out when I was 15. No matter what I went through, she didn't care. No matter how many times I'd been in a knife fight, anything, she didn't care. No matter how many times I'd been in that hospital, put on the TV, anything. She never ever listened, she didn't care. Because all she ever wanted to be was best and well, she wasn't the best, that's the truth of it. And I told her the truth so she didn't like it. Um, my life's been hectic. I've done more years in the streets than, than I have working. I, I mean, I've literally went up to more money than you can count, more cars than you can drive, all the way down to nothing. I once had a net worth of 22 billion. Say that again. I once had a net worth of 22 billion. How's that? How's that? Because I'm a scientist. Really? A scientist, yeah. I can make things, invent things, anything. A lot, a lot of things that I've made, people be driving around in. People be using. Like what? Like earpieces. Electric cars. Who made all that? No one ever, ever goes down to the tea on who did all that. No one. So you're saying you made it? I was the first person to drive a Mercedes Benz in Newcastle, mate. That wasn't famous. First person to drive a Mercedes in Newcastle that wasn't famous. So I go over everyone's like, he's rich. I'm like, yeah, plenty of corner shops, a car wash, and a few of the clubs later. Who would have thought of Mercedes? Start off by saving up the money. That's what I did years ago when I was uh, 15, 16. I saved up a lot of money, me and a couple of friends, bought a corner shop. Saved up more money, bought another corner shop. Number one, car wash. We owned the West Road in Newcastle. The West Road in Newcastle was on my own. Owned the clubs, the Alchemist, World Headquarters, everything. We ran it, we built Gateshead, Trinity Square in Gateshead. We excavated that, that old place, that old. Um, Old place everyone complained that we smashed down the castle wall, but it wasn't really much anyway, it was just an old wall. And we built them a little bit of a city centre, it wasn't really much. The taxis, we upgraded that. And you think they have nice flash cars because we're multi millionaires? And all you got is one corrupted officer that comes along, steals your ID, hands it to someone else, that person takes a photo, gets it recorrected to their face, my name, then he reclaims everything in that corrupted police station called Four Banks. That is where they commit so many fucking rapes today, you couldn't even imagine it. Anyone that goes in there gets drunk and they get raped, that's the truth of it. And no fucker will ever attend to it. So what? So what happened? You're saying the police corrupted you? The police, they stole it. They took it. But how did you lose all your money though? They took it, they claimed that it was theirs and that I was someone else. That's what they did, they took a photo of me and put it on someone else's ID. That's like exactly what they did. And they what? said, that's not him, this is him. And then in the court, I lost the judgement because they had a higher ranking person. Say so you lost all that money? Everything mate, millions, millions man. I literally built Newcastle, Newcastle was nothing. People had a nice paid job after me. Beforehand they were all running on minimum wage. £7.50 is that. It was shit. Then, 
And that's when I become a scientist. But then, even then, people kidnap me. And then, the same motherfucking police officer helps them out again. And now I'm stuck here for the past few years. Only why he's already got a black guy, a black guy in it. I'm pretty sure he's got a little bit of a black guy there. Yeah, yeah, he's already been smacked, mate. Sexy! Nigga, nigga, nigga! Shoot! I got He's done well so far, I'm not going to lie, he's done pretty well to get this far, man. You shout that more up that road, mate. If I was you, walk five minutes that way and shout that. I dare you. What do you mean, man? I dare you. Do it up that way, five minutes. I dare you. Don't come up on me, bro. Don't come up on me. Don't come up on me. Don't fucking come up on me because I'll fucking kick the fucking shit out of you. Who the fuck do you think you are? Be racist around here. Fuck off. Fuck off. Don't walk up on me like that. I will drop you, mate. You do not know who I am. I tell you now, I'll kick the fucking shit out of you. Fuck off. Pull your fucking pants up, you dirty trick. Shut the fucking thing, you. Walk around here, these fucking racist. Well, he walks him on. I feel, I've been filming that geezer there. Don't start on me, man. I'm filming that geezer there. Which I've been one? following him. Him there. Right? And if I was to say as a Metropolitan Police Officer, what would you say? I would say I don't care because I'm filming him anyway. Well, I've been filming matter. him for the past yeah, 10 no, minutes. No, no. Right? I've been filming him for the past 10 minutes, mate. There's no need to start on me, bruv. He started there, don't start on him mate. Nah, leave off, leave off, leave off, don't worry man. Bye mate. Well, well done there, bruv, listen, listen, well That's done man. Right, man. That, you handled that. that. Nice man. No, I'm not having it mate, not having it. Alright sir. <laughs> I think I'm fantastic, don't you? Yeah, you're very fantastic. Where are you going in Scarborough Fair? <laughs> Won't you take Rosemary and time Remember good, me yeah, yeah. To the one that is there She once was A true love of mine And where did you go In Scarborough Fair Won't you taste Rosemary and time me to the one that is there. She once was a true love. Bravo, man. Thank you, gents. Please forgive me for interrupting your journeys. I won't take a moment. My name is Terry. I am genuinely homeless guy. I try to reside in a foreign exchange hospital every night, but they do charge. And unfortunately, I have no money. So I'm out here tonight in sheer desperation, looking for any donations, no matter how small guys, so I don't have to spend the night on the street. Any food, any water, fruit, anything you think you're going to dispose of that you can give to me. I'd be so grateful. I thank you all for taking the time to listen to me and have a safe journey home. Thank you so much. God bless. Is there any unwanted food or water? I've got his earphones in.